hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going over an engulfing candle bot on vs code in python make sure you have your environment set up i use anaconda so i'm gonna have a conda and I'll, I'll give you an example of how to do that if you don't know how to set up your environment go to manage click command palette and you'll see here python select interpreter and this is how you you will pick your environment you see i have algos bots strats all different types and i'm usually right now i am in strats because i'm using ta lib and i have it set up in a certain environment so this is where all my indicators are and what your environment does for you it allows you to import see how it, it, i have different libraries here ccxt i have pandas numpy key file some of these are just files i already have that hold passwords that holds um how can i say this not indicators but like functions pretty much yeah the one the one folder is called nice funks and I'll give you an example. So when you see it brought up, you'll know what it is. This is called nicefunks.py and I keep a lot of my strategies in here. You can see these are all different strategies. And then what I'll do is I will come over And I'll import it. So you see import nice funks as N. This N represents something from this folder. That's called importing or you can hard code it. I'll show you one that is done in all hard codes. This bot is hard coded, which means I don't import anything. It actually looks harder. You know what I'm saying? This bot looks longer and it looks harder. But really, this bot is shorter, but it's more advanced. You see how this one's, the last one was 400 lines of code. This one's only 88, but I'm importing different functions from different folders. It's like a consolidation. So I don't have long pages. Like why reinvent the wheel, you know? So in this one, I import everything. I connect to my exchange here. You put your, I import my key. You see, I have key file as K. So I imported my, my codes to connect to this exchange. You're gonna have to go to your exchange and connect to an API to get on here and once you connect to your exchange you hard code what symbol you want position size target max loss your params and now this is just your bot you're gonna tell your bot what to do your symbols and your PL codes it's gonna have your buy your sales your sides, your sizes, your asking bid price is coming from the order book. Here's your, your position info. It's gonna be printing it for me. You see at the bottom here, I have it printing. This bot is running. It's printing for me all the data, what's going on, open positions, when to buy an order, when to sell an order. Just made a buy order because there was engulfing candle, sleep two minutes. So I'm running this live right now. Here's the logic behind it all. So if the bid is greater than the last close, 
and the bid is greater than the SMA 15 make a buy to open if the bid is smaller than the last close and the bid is smaller than the SMA 2015 minute make an order to sell if none of that happens we're not making an order at all scheduled it to do this every 28 seconds I also have a, a fail safe here if the internet or the power goes out we shut down for 30 minutes and then we try to restart so this is running this is just a basic bot I'll bring it up Now you can see it's on the exchange and it's actually running. These are all where I was buying and selling. See, I bought down here, I sold up here, bought, sold, bunch of little buys here. I've been buying right here. Here's the order book behind me. It's showing you the recent trades, the sizes of the orders. I call this your rear view mirror. You always want to look in the mirror before you make a turn. You see all the recent trades, it looks like everyone's buying. So that's a good indicator, you know what I'm saying? People are buying right now. I call that looking in the mirror. You really want to just... Let me get the 20 day up, because that's what we're working on. Let me pull up the 20. So this is basically what we're doing. If the candle is above this, we buy. If the candle is below this, we sell. Bigger candle. So if we get a bigger candle above this, look at that, we're buying. Bigger candle above, we're buying. Bigger candle above, we're buying. Anything above this line, we're buying. Now, if we break below this, we're gonna start selling. That's pretty much all this robot is, is buy if it's above, buy if it's above, buy if it's above. Take profit at 8%. And then we'll start making, if we start getting bigger candles below this, we'll start doing sell orders, take profit at 8%. Always look at your order book. This is where we're getting our robot is getting its information from here, from the order book. You know, the trades that are coming in. But then besides that, the simple logic is, big candle above, buy, big candle below, sell. Simple bot, just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. You can see it's making a lot of little trades. And it's, it's not the best, it's, it's just something to work on and practice. Get familiar with the logic and the loops, the order books, the exchanges. But always back test your strategies before you go live. Just don't randomly, you know, put money on an exchange and start running a bot. Thoroughly back test it, have risk management in place everything in place get your coding right and you know i just wanted to share this with you guys this is a engulfing candle bot big candles above the 20 day we're buying big candles below the 20 day we're selling basic bot i have probably a hundred of them some of them are more advanced, but I feel like this is a good one where I can get on and talk to you guys about it. 
just something that we're working on. Big candle above the 20, buy. Take profits up top, take profits. And then we'll start reversing our orders. If we break this line here and the candles get big below, we'll start doing sell orders. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you like the content, if you have any questions about the codes, back testing, the exchange, API, I use Visual Studio Code, I'm coding in Python. I use Anaconda as my virtual environment. That's basically it, you know? Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Have a great day.